Today in the treatment of cancer in general, but um, specifically in colon cancer, uh, many people are looking at the genome of the cancer to determine what is the best therapy and what be, might help the patient the most. So this is not the patient's germline DNA, this is really the changes that have resulted in the tumor becoming malignant. One of the main ones that is useful today in colorectal cancer is testing for RAS mutation. Uh, previously, uh, and what most uh, oncologists are used to hearing today is about the KRAS mutation, which would, is specifically the mutations in codons 12 and 13 of exon 2 of the KRAS gene. So that was a mutation that resulted in continuous signaling of RAS and therefore an antibody that blocked the signal before RAS, EGFR, which would normally signal through RAS, was really ineffective. Essentially, the circuit breaker was left in the open position, and even if you tried turning off EGFR signaling, it didn't work. So that was um, a result of looking retrospectively at some of the early studies with anti-EGFR antibodies versus placebo. And then in all the other studies that had come after that, where we used combination chemotherapy, we looked at the data and indeed KRAS-1213 mutation predicted for lack of benefit for drugs like cetuximab or panitumumab. What's happened more recently is that we've accumulated enough prospective data in KRAS-1213 mutations to look at some of the less common mutations in both KRAS and NRAS. So beyond exon 2, there are exon 3 mutations in um, codons 59 and 61, and exon 4 mutations in codons 117 and 146. So what happened eventually was that we learned that codon 12 and 13 um, predicted for lack of efficacy of drugs like cetuximab and panitumumab. But when we did additional studies going forward now with enough patients that have the codon uh, 12 and 13 mutation, we're f able to look at some of the more rare mutations in both KRAS and NRAS, such as KRAS codon 3, which is exon 59 and 61, and codon 4, which is exon 117 and 146, plus the NRAS mutations in those same six locations. And find that mutations in those less common KRAS and NRAS mutations also predict for lack of benefit for the drugs. And that accounts for about 15 percent of colorectal cancers that would be considered KRAS codon 12, 13 wild type. They have these more rare other RAS mutations. So I think today we're calling this expanded RAS mutation where you're testing for all 12 of these mutations and we find that's true instead of 45 percent of colorectal cancer, now you're up to about 60 percent of colorectal cancer that has some expanded RAS mutation present and then you would not use um, anti-EGFR antibodies for those patients. Right. So this is a tough problem today because the FDA hasn't gone around and approved any expanded RAS test yet. And um, you kind of have to discuss with your pathologist who may be doing such tests and where they're available. Many academic centers such as Yale, we do those tests quite routinely um, by two different methods and other institutions do as well. Imagine some of the commercial laboratories also have that, but it's not part of the FDA label yet and there's no FDA approved expanded RAS test. On the other hand, it's basically the same amount of work as just testing the two locations. If you're doing a PCR test, the big work is finding the tumor cells, extracting the DNA, and then um, running it in the PCR reaction to uh, amplify the DNA. So if you use only two primers or you use 12 primers, the same amount of work basically. So the reason that this is important um, 
the reason that it is important to test for the expanded RAS is that not only for 15% of patients with the minor other RAS mutations besides codon 1213 of KRAS, the other 15% won't benefit from the anti-EGF antibodies. There's some data that when it's combined, especially with oxaliplatin, that it may have a negative outcome. So I think that today when you treat colorectal cancer, it's incumbent upon the oncologist to know the entire expanded RAS status before you start giving these drugs in combination with chemotherapy.